Niagara Falls firefighters are in mourning this Christmas. Good evening, I'm Kelly Dodzik. Scott and Mary Alice have the night off. A 17-year veteran of the department was killed in an accident last night near the fashion outlets. As 2 on your side, Steve Brown reports, the death has shaken the entire department. The flag at Niagara Falls City Hall is at half staff on this Christmas. The same at the City Firefighter Memorial to honor Fire Captain Kiefer Stallman. Last night near the outlet mall, the 51 year old was out for a Christmas Eve spin on his motorcycle and was hit by a car. Stallman died of his injuries. Stallman riding in late December did not surprise his fellow firefighters today mourning his loss. In fact, they say it was just Stallman being himself. He drove 1,100 miles in one day to go to Florida. Um, just that's how he liked riding it. Acting Chief Clifford Mays tells Two on Your Side counseling has been available to firefighters since last night and that Stallman's death has devastated the department. Kiefer wasn't just an employee for the fire department. He was friends and family with a lot of us. Firefighting is dangerous, of course, but Mays says it was Stallman's consistent compassion on the job that set him apart. That hand on the shoulder, holding hands with patients that were scared, having a bad day, calling us. And he was trying to make sure that it was he was going to make it as good as he could. And that was him in a nutshell. And on his Facebook page, a number of pictures of Stallman with his canine pal, Chloe. And he loved that dog for sure. Chloe is in love with the dog. That dog followed him everywhere. Also making the rounds today to offer aid and comfort, Mayor Paul Deister. Being a mayor is like having a second family. So some of the best times and some of the worst times are with your, your family. But you want to be sure that you're there for them when they need you. Deister spending part of the holiday making sure benefits are quickly directed to Stallman's family. As for Stallman's other family, the fire department, they are missing their friend, especially today. I would have gotten a text from him saying Merry Christmas today. Absolutely, every year without fail. The name of the driver who hit Stallman was not released. All we know about her is that she's a 19 year old from Grand Island and was uninjured. We are told Stallman is survived by his wife, Amy, and their three children. Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.